Yes, hello. That's right, guys. It's time. Mainstream Entropic versus Mouse. We got Mouse on the favorites, but it's Vertigo. It makes things a little bit interesting. JDC to the bottom of B. Ooh, this one's for all the marbles, bro. This one's to get into the Katowice main event. And that's, I think, something that Entropic have been craving. A big land chance ever since the Major. We'll see if they can kick it off here tonight. But for now, it's Torzi with the opening kill. Forrester out. And that's, you know, one of those big names, Launders. We'll get into it as this one goes on. But this is, I think, Forrester and Elian's chance to prove to us yet again they are really that, that next-in-line type squad. But Bomb Plant canceled out. Smokes make it awkward. Trying to jar out some HEs if they can. I'll fall back into a post plant. And with the CTs in this position, it's not going to be easy, but we do have a smoke on Nickelback. Problem is, on the other side of that smoke, you're going to have five players still up from Mouse. Two of them are wounded. Torres is also a little bit low. Oh, nice. sandbags down. Yeah, clean one. Crad from over top. He's going to get more here. Trying to get back cover. Sticks coming through, but no, gets canceled. It's going to fall onto Lackey. Comes in 1v3, very desperate. So as the knives are pulled out and the shots go through, it's been nine months that this exact Entropic roster has been able to work side by side under the banner. And it's been a good nine months. But with this opening four frags back and forth, it is Entropic in the end to get that little bit of an edge. Forrester inside of a B site. You know, he is the rifle to Elian's op. And the guy that he needs to lean on when the call to the action comes. But for now, it's going to be one of those silent creeping calls. Bomb needs to be picked back up. Still entirely possible with the bomb in this position since they aren't watching it. it. Of course, can get a little bit lurky and on low numbers. That's when paranoia is at its maximum, but it looks like MBK is quite comfortable now. They'll pick this up. And because the CTs are the ones who are spread out across the sites, we might be able to get a two-on-one situation as they come up towards A. We'll see just how quietly they do it. They have a lot of utility to use. Oh, there's the silence broken. Yes. Molotov hits the sandbags. Just trying to piece together, you know, if you could find that one anchor, if you could find that one player hiding away, then it would have been a good time for it. But still another Molotov. That one could definitely be thrown atop Elian. But Elian's no longer alone and frozen just as he turns his head to the left. It gets rocked. Ooh. And make that the two-hit combo, Elian. But... All right, now the B exact is coming on. Ooh, Lackey finds oh, with the counter jumping. flash is beautiful. Excellent bit of utility there. It's certainly going to help. We'll see if Nickelback can even get a chance to offer us something. But Elian's support already successful. JDC up close. He's got shots whizzing by. Elian jumps into a little bit of cover. It's it's dirty. It's sloppy. It's messy. And it's a post plant here for Mouse. Nice utility wow. damage. It goes both ways, these nades. Crad around the green. Just guns down towards That box not big enough. Frozen in the clutch. Looking to earn his spot again. That's the namesake within Mouse. But Crad, MP9 is enough up close. And there we have it, folks. And Tropic able to answer. Tropic are truly going to push themselves to the next level. They need all of the stadium events they can get. And with nades like this, utility across multiple rounds now, just really showing us the sharpness of Entropic. Yeah. You know, the messiest thing they did was that one HE. Apart from that, all their utility has been uh, pretty wasteless. I mean, almost everything has uh, had some efficacy, pushed somebody back, found a good timing. They also found some good times to re-aggress on the A ramp, being very annoying, like a horse fly. Ooh, those ones bite deep. Does it mean they're carnivores, though, is the question. And, okay, Krad will exchange mollies with his opponent, Frozen, and Frozen will find an opportunity to come in and attack. That's a tricky molly. It gave Frozen a nice angle to look up into the site, so maybe Mouse do have a few tricks here. We've got to see something else from them. Utilities run completely dry. Smoke now faded, so, yeah, Torzi felt that was his chance to just burst outwards, get on site. Ooh, Dexter, I like this. Extends around the right side just to take that deeper angle. Maybe find Entropic trying to prepare themselves to support Elian, who now finds himself solo 1v3. Dexter, very nicely done. Takes away the two players inside. One of the last two smokes remaining comes down on sandbags. Without HEs, it's actually quite hard to, you know, continue and get this guy out of here. Especially with Krad close enough to support. Wow, this is brave, but maybe that's the play they need. Oh, he just runs out. 
Dexter stuffs them close, JDC with another, and, and remember, Forrester's already revealed himself. So they throw another Molotov, but look at this. Three Ts oh go God. up short side. Lackey's gonna be under pressure, and Forrester was still alive until that moment hell? from JDC. Uh -huh. So weird. Like it's nobody bi nobody's business, and he gets away scot-free. No one's there to trade it. Some seriously wild antics coming out from Mouse, dude. The, the, the confidence is growing. Dexter, JDC, top, and just as Nickelback tries to draw it back, sure enough, a response from Mouse. Another very comfortable four versus two with the CTs very much split. And questions to be answered if you are in Tropic. Where have Mouse got off to? They fall silent, walk away. Minimal utility now thrown close on B site. Lackey, let's see it. Somebody's gonna have to shine. And that somebody is going to have to do it alone for the moment. Oh, Aki expecting a split, but now it's the hit from the bottom of B. Nice second kill from Lackey as he just peeks so cleanly into NBK. So minimally, in fact. But here's the sprint back. In a similar situation to the last round, instead of Dexter being the one-man army, it's Frozen to take a forward position. And instead of B, it's A. He gets inside of the bomb site, bomb in tow. And Lackey flanks as Forrester could be set up to make a play before his teammate gets here. He knows that that plant's set mid sight. Lackey, where have you gone, my friend? Slowly starting to round corners. No clue as to where that second player is, but Dexter back fully exposed. So the flank was never predicted. And now Frozen going to have to give us the clutch, but that's not going to happen. Big round from Lackey. He's going to take to the top of the scoreboard for the side of Entropy. But speaking of scary, Torzi has also been a consistent feature. And this short setup has a ton of pressure on it. Oof, okay. Crad serving as distraction, sets up Elian. And we're, oof, <laughs> there it is. Nice clean headshot onto Dexter, really take that edge off. And especially with this inevitable flank coming around what's left of Mouse. That's so annoying. The last thing they need now is a flank. Yeah, and it's about to strike. It's working its way through CT shelf. Mouse trying to push their way forward, but Forrester, instantaneous gush. Lackey gonna steal that kill. Padding the stats. NBK falls with nothing, and that is in Tropic. They are currently on opposite ends of the map. NBK just trying to find a little bit of cover here, trying to get Oof. space so that he can maybe give us some impact, but it's JDC instead to come around green with one. Nickelback oh. pushing through smoke and then falling right back through it. A burst of energy from Entropic and a potential chance for Dexter clearing the first one in Nickelback and a oh. blinded Forrester is not able to offer anything. We've got Crad back towards mid. We've got Elian inside bombsite. Torzi almost just whips that op down on him, but ladies and Gentlemen, we're tied. As in Tropic, it's NBK's story in these last couple of rounds, it's the armored deagle attempt here from Maus. And Tropic earning a little bit of runway, but mm, bad weather forces Forrester to the sidelines for this one. Further damage as well. Nickelback not going to have as easy of a round. JDC comes through, and now we're talking shop. Dexter even adds one to the collection. And this is one of those rounds that would take this game straight back to the even 12 all. Lackey, Elian, 2v4, inside A site. Smoke fades Oh, in that's front. a good smoke. They can it's ISO these fights. Thrown in front. Lackey's only able to get the single kill. It needs to be Elian, and Ooh. he's not going to nail it. Frozen and Torzi end it. And Maus with the Deagles catching Tropic. But Here's the refrag. Yes. No longer is he so alone. No longer do they need JDC to sprint into position. Instead, he's an anchor on quad I... and an answer from quad 4v4. Now, uh, Torzi feels a need to get a little bit aggressive, and honestly, I understand it because we had a position just now where Entropic took both sites, basically. Now they force Torzi back, and Torzi okay. smartly drops him all the top, nearly dies to that wall bang. Now the aggressive play comes out, and Frozen is out of there. He's able to get back around the corner, but Torzi backs up too slightly. Dexter comes through with the trade frag back. It's man advantage held on to for Maus, and Elian's not able to shave one off the jump up. No HP here for Nickelback, so he'll pick that up. up. Quick weapon swap. Oh, but they were fighting for this A site, and the demons of desire keep drawing oh. them closer. But maybe that's not a problem. Elian and Nickelback near simultaneous kills to crack that A site back. And suddenly the clutch is on for JDC. Now we are talking 
a last second stand in. Man, he has an op. Called in to one of the biggest events of the year. And this could be his round. He peeks close and gets shut out by Nicholas. Beautiful flash, Ooh. beautiful piece of teamwork set up by Dexter. Oh, that makes it way too easy. Man, what a call to make in that moment. So disruptive. And then another nice bit of duality here on the opposite side of the map, but maybe this is Crad. No, I was going to say Crad's round. Nickelback right back at it. One versus four attempt. Wastes no time to push closer towards the B site. Nade's going to fall Ooh. near Torzi. Mm, not enough damage for it. Oh my oh. god, his own smoke that he used to throw that. He spotted a second player. And now he has enough time. I mean, he can play this however he wants. And we'll see if a mistake gets made on the rotation if he goes too far. <gasps> oh my god, oh, no wow. way! No way Dexter wins that. That was such a good play. Last time here between the op and the AK. Doesn't mean it's over. No, sir. Not one bit. Much more forward stance. Nickelback tries to set it up. Frozen's position unsuspected. Torzi's here to support. Elian's not able to get an answer in just yet. Oh, blind shot, though. It's something. But it's it's such a sliver of success here for Entropic, considering everything that they just lost on this ramp. And now the CTs fall silent, shrouded in cover. Elian creeping inwards. Nobody's giving cover. The shadow. Oh, that's all Elian needs. He's going to get the additional kill, but oh. they end it then and there. Frozen steps up. And Mouse, after winning two rounds on the C You know, you just gotta, you gotta tabula rasa, blank slate, wipe your mind of what just went down on an individual level, and bring it in to this, the second map of this series, and the third pistol round. But NBK finds early contact, Crad will catch the push that comes through middle. It is very much a concentrated effort towards this B site. NBK gets flashed very nicely from Dexter. And now it's Elian's chance to maybe answer. Sure enough, Glock to the face of NBK. Three more CTs right around this corner. And oh. he knows that he can't peek too soon, but the CT flash doesn't stop him. Dexter with the double. And a 2v2 is where we're left. Bomb halfway gone. Dexter runs in, dies. Torzi's chance. 1v2 clutch. Guns down the first, oh. but Grad, that is where the difference made. And that JDC at the forefront of the B setup. Nice clean kill versus Crad. This is a second time now that that smoke has been a bit of a nuisance for Entropic, whether it's JDC pushing through or in this case shaving over. It is two instances of Maus finding opening kills from it. And this time they've got the guns to really double down. Smoke and flash throw what? and JDC quick kill versus Elian. Take the what? double man advantage and send Entropic elsewhere. NBK in the open. <sighs> That one's a little bit awkward. Gets away from him, but Frozen can pick up the first piece. Additional damage versus Nickelback as well. No bomb control currently. And if there is this aggressive push out through Temple, yep, sure enough, Dexter gets it back. And we've got four alive for Maus. Once guns are in their hands, find this one. Wow. The door essentially off its hinges, man. Yeah, they put the hinges in their hands. They took everything with them. Man, just a full retake. There's uh, no utility. The bomb hasn't been planted yet. JDC's getting very close. Oh my god, he actually could have peeked out and grabbed that bomb. MBK will trade back. It's three on three. Can't help but feel like there's still some legs here for the CT side. Forrester stays tucked inside sight. Elian with a gap to try and work with. NBK truly has to be the jackknife, you'd think, but it's it's in fact Torzi. He peeks into Elian, who we know is holding the angle, and then follows up with the second. Nickelback's attempt at a clutch, but he has nine health, and the defuse beyond the halfway point. How do they pull that off? Wow, unbelievable. What a round from Torzi. <laughs> Half Mao's NXT. Yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah, an extra member. They've got A-Site covered on all angles. This is so well rotated. Oh, they're watching the lurk. I mean, unless JDC just turns around. Mouse just need to stick the landing because they've got it. Wow. They've got it in the bag in terms of positioning, but backside NBK dies. That does create... Oh. You just said it. Maybe if he turns around, but Torzi oh. does turn back and forth. Double kill. Forrester trying to clutch it back, but no. Damn. 
That's what I've seen so far from JDC's Ancient. Just comfort. And this is a buy round, but Dexter just makes mincemeat of the first one. Excellent bank flash. Bomb spotted, dropped, and held off because utility starts to tumble down the ramp. Crad will find the headshot. That's a spam through pocket, but Dexter able to response. A quick one thrown down ramp. NBK fast flank holds for a moment. You don't, you don't always get the flank on this map, but when you do, you better believe no one's going to hold it. However, they start to walk back yeah. um, towards mid, end up in cave, and look for another avenue of attack on the B site. We've got everything covered on the fallback, though, it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quite clear what the game plan is. Wow, I love, love the angles right now we're seeing from the CT side. Just looks very well versed. Just so sweaty. Sweatier than a penguin in a suit. Hexter, dude. He's so That was sharp. fast, right? It is. It is. His, his rifle work's been really good tonight. And Crad, unfortunately, hasn't been given anything to answer with. So yeah. you hold that thought, brother. Okay. We've got Dexter, speak of the devil, under pressure. MAC-10's trickling in on him. And, dude, that's multiple times tonight. He just gets away with that one extra. Mm -hmm. And it's impactful, but... The bomb gets dropped as it extends beyond. <gasps> oh, Crad sticks the A1S <laughs> through the crack. The frag grenade makes this one Is seem a little bit more possible. Crad's going to jump through. Oh. What? I don't even know. Like a half push? That's weird. That's so weird. We both could have fallen back, played it's... the 2v2 post. No, it's strange. It's very strange. Unless he wanted to make the distraction so that Elliot no. could for sure grab bomb. I don't know. Yeah. Don't rationalize it. I'm trying to. Well, there's still a chance that Elliot can win, but Frozen has a smoke. Oh, and wisely puts it on top of the bomb. Yeah, but there's still a gap to cross. Elliot's not able to stop Frozen. Frozen, that's just the tap. But it's going to... Ooh, well BNBK with the last one. That's well handled. Ooh, Crad's going to... I was going to say, really creep through. Meanwhile, Lackey's trying to get that impact in middle. He's going to go ahead and try to puncture into the back line, but that's where Torzi just slaps oh. him down. And JDC sees the barrel. Oh. oh, that's a two for one combo. It always has to be two with him. Torzi's then primed for the peak down ramp. He nails Funny. the shots. That's a full house again from the NXT boys. Two for JDC. Really read that somebody's up close. I mean, there's such a surplus of T's right now. Flash gets eaten. Nickelback doesn't find his frag. Retail. Oh! Whoa. NBK what? finds Crab through the box. What? Man, advantage extended downwards. And Mao's have everything they need every step of the way. They stick the defuse like they were favored in that retake. You're kidding, dude. What? right now it's not just little bits of success they need rounds necessary every extra win is something special Torzi, let's see it no sir shut down just the one it's a quick shot but a quicker response lackey finds the b site yet again and it's no 3v5 retake folks it's nbk 1v3 wow find both entries simultaneously and actually score an important point at the end of this first half, still one to go. So much money for Mao's literally MBK. Should just be trying to kill as many people as possible in this position. Of course, only say that just because of odds of winning are really low. <laughs> and they'll end up getting the kill on him. And now we'll get into the final spot. And they're going to go ahead and try to crank the dial, attacking MBK at his A site yet again. Frozen's already dead, but Torzi offers oh. something. NBK is a one and done, and a 3v3 ensues. Torzi pushes past the fire, stuck inside the corner. Ooh. Nicely done there from Forrester to really force the issue in that moment, making sure he could take him down before reinforcements arrived. Oh, but JDC threw smoke. Yeah, that's Forrester out. And that's Entropic out, already oh. heading towards B. Yeah, so Nickelback, he can go far. He does need to be a little bit careful. I mean, it can be tempting to, you know, cross a line, go super deep into spawn, but there are so many long angles back there that you never know if a CT is going to catch you off guard. So 
He'll camp out now, and it looks like it'll be kind of a slow retake with Dexter taking his time to push all the way around. Now this will be heard. There is still a chance to pull this off. They're going to come in from the same way, which means they're probably going to try to get one and stick with the smoke that comes down. Uh, we've seen a bit of an issue for Entropic in this post plant before, so we'll see. Smoke's indicating the direction Mao's come from. Nickelback just making sure all these corners are clear. Dexter going to get on top bomb. Nickelback, he's got to come out. JDC gives cover. The trade's there, oh but that was nearly his clutch to take. Another stick on top of it. Guns dry. It's JDC's kill, but no time. It will be a fifth for Entropic. Could have been Certainly help. A moment of joy brought back by Nickelback. The dual Beretta's on the flank oh. and the crisp kill from Elian. Instantaneous death for NBK. Torzi tucked close. Lackey right there on the other end. He's moving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was turned around. Right? He thought that was a free walkout, but that is, is free. There is still a chance for the plant to go down with a smoke to help it out. Frozen going to try to... Oh, Ooh, Frost, that's instant such headshot. a good gush. Another one. Wow, the pretty fire. That's beautiful from Frozen. They've got Elian low, deep in the CT spawn. Do they go for this? Do they decide to take the aggressive stats? More damage. Elian, he's lucky the to bomb. be alive. He tries to run away, but there's <laughs> no escape. Forrester's going to run forward. He's going to tap the bob once. JDC right on the corner. Right so close, and Forrester connects. Oh! oh. Both headshots! He chops them down, and that's such a big one for Entropic. Just... The pressure's real. You gotta appreciate Frozen going up on the sign boost in that situation by himself as well. You know, making a clutch decision in a tense moment. Dexter incredibly low. NBK is gonna connect the kill. Elian's got the scout. It's looking good in terms of damage. Three players of the four left up on this T side walking very wounded, but they'll plant. <gasps> Lackey pushes through. He does. Just, Jesus. just not enough damage. They're all so low. Let's see it, Forrester. Give us something special off this deagle. Connect that headshot into Frozen. Imagine. A stiff breeze blows over the other double, but no, that's it. Mao's 12 rounds. Uh-oh. In fact, he's getting oh, he's taken getting down. Oh, oh, JDC you can't give that smoke. up. Don't forget that this is the exact situation, the exact setup that got Maus to win with lesser weapons. They're trying to walk into Nickelback dies. Sorry, Elian dies. Nickelback is close. Tag down low. Forrester is still tucked into a cubby. He'll get swung on and traded. That is tough. Still two players up for the CTs. Crad a little bit further back. I haven't even thought about planting the bomb. Smoke's all over the place, but soon hey, to dissipate. JDC, JDC better has not lose the bomb. This. He better not lose it. He doesn't because oh, Torzi course. saves him. But if that's not Torzi. Oh, he is dead. Crad. Oh, nice move. Jumps onto the box. He's got the element of surprise. Where are they? Where are they? Up oh. close. Torzi's got it. Opt to AK swap. Trades out JDC. But the three. Torzi finds a gap. However, it is three on five. Oh, one spot at Torzi. Sure, that's this. Not. And you separate the rotators now so they can put some pressure on the A site. But the thing is that there are still two players holding it down. So Torzi will actually turn his attention over towards B. This might be the right maneuver. And he smoked towards the B site. Torzi is going to get a free kill here. Dude, they've got they're mollying to take attention away from him, and they're late watching this flank. This is ridiculous. Mouse might actually win this round off of the ingenuity in the mid round. And Torzi, now he's going to drop a smoke. He's just a part of the exec. There's no one here. They've been completely hoodwinked. <laughs> Bamboozled, fooled. Made to look like chumps, Mao's silently skate by, and then JDC oh. again! Just like the CT side! Aggressive down the B ramp, he gets nothing but impact. It's NBK's chance. It's just the MP9s. It's a 15th for Mao's on the docket, but will it get served up? They need to lean on the new guns of Mao's, and Torzi fires hot, but there is still the cross. Forrester, he's gone unchecked, but now they know, and oh. he just doesn't miss this ridiculousness from Torzi. And shining on Ancient. They've got the setup. 
commencing here into the B site. One final push to end the show. But they take a lot of damage. So is that going to be enough to just enable Entropic to hang on for now? AK swap with the bomb drop down in front of the CT setup. It's a dog pile from the defense. Nice spam damage through from Frozen. Dexter, he gets all the way what? out. Nobody's supporting off of the short lane. Is NBK gets that? covered. Torzi gets no the kill. Way, Dexter. And just like this, Maus, unless it's Elian to stand tall with a scout, have managed to topple a top 10 Stockholm major team in Entropic in a 2-0 fashion without the Elian clutch. Oh. They fumble, they fall.